registration proce process. So this is probably something which uh, we will be, um, which, which will be one of the messages of such uh, presentations, and which were, which were uh, already alluded to in previous publications, uh, which uh, we have seen before, which were very surprising compounds have uh, emerged, which you would never expect to work in a certain situation, but in the end they did. So that is something which probably will change um, the registration approach of all the various of all the various uh, associations and societies and regulatory authorities. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now the next um, two papers will deal with the following aspect, which is extremely important in the treatment of breast cancer, of early breast cancer, and as you all know. The paradigm right now is to give to patients with HER2 positive breast cancer, which constitute about uh, 12 to 15 percent of all patients with, uh, with uh, breast cancer, to give to these patients a drug called trastuzumab, which is directed against HER2. Now, the paradigm is to treat with trastuzumab for one year. The, we have two very important presentations here in, uh, during this conference which have tested this approach of uh, one, the necessity to, uh, to treat patients um, with trastuzumab for one year. And this was, um, as you might remember, a couple of years ago, one of the highlights in oncology, because very rarely has there been such an advance described before in the adjuvant treatment of early breast cancer as in with trastuzumab in patients with to positive breast cancer. Remember this very well. This was a standing ovation at that time when this was presented. So. Um, of course, uh, you know, science uh, makes steps forward, and the question was to challenge this concept. One was to ask, is shorter than one year better? And the other question was, is longer than one year, meaning two years, better? Very important questions. Um, so the first paper which deals with the abbreviation of trastuzumab treatment is uh, one by uh, Dr. Xavier Pivot from Besançon, France, uh, which tested six months versus one year. And we're very excited, please. Thank you, Mr. President. So I am presenting FAR, a brief summary of FAR results. You know, as it was explained, that FAR study compare two duration of adjuvant trastuzumab, six months versus 12 months. This study is an academic study, and the sponsor was the French National Cancer Institute, and uh, I am the, the PI, it's because of that that I am here. So the rationale of FAR was based on the result in 2005 of the overall benefit provided by one year of trastuzumab. And at that time, we have some concern in terms of cardiac toxicity. And we have the result of a smaller study, the FINER trial, which provided the same magnitude of benefit than the pivotal study with one year of adjuvant duration the same mag similar magnitude of benefits, but with only nine weeks of adjuvant trastuzumab. So the question of the optimal duration of trastuzumab was on the table, and we decide to compare six months of adjuvant trastuzumab to 12 months. This study is a non-inferiority trial on the and points was a disease-free survival. It's important because a non-inferiority trial, it's, a, it's, I don't want to be too technical, but it's some, we have some specific statistical analysis and we have defined a pre-specified boundary for non-inferiority. And all the hazard ratio, the confidence interval hazard, hazard ratio, should not cross this margin of non-inferiority to state that six months is not inferior to 12 months. So we compare the disease-free survival with this definition, and we have secondary endpoint, but I will focus on my primary results. 
the results on the curve are here. At the time of the analysis, we have 385 events. On the stratified Cox model, provides an hazard ratio of 1.28, with this confidence interval ranging between 1.05 and 1.56. So this confidence interval crosses the boundary of non-inferiority. It's because of that that the p-value was not significant. So far fail to achieve its primary endpoint. And the demonstration that six months was not inferior to 12 months was not proven. You can see. Yes, because I. Uh, it's a little bit updated. It's the same slide. It's the same slide, but I provide a better, I will say, objective slides. Okay. The numbers are on the slide. Ah, yes, it's the same numbers. So, I, I hope it's the, same, it's the same numbers. It's not the same numbers. So, the real numbers are here. I need to check the, the slides that you have. So, you need to take this one. To, yes, thank you. to this number. So, I don't know what you have. No. We have 172 events and 205, for example. Well, maybe this is something which was previously, uh, that was previously submitted, but we have there at the back, uh, we have the... That's what we got. That's okay. What okay. okay. It's, it's strange. So, does it matter? I will provide you the slide set at the end of the... Of the presentation, yeah, we so might, we might do the following thing. Maybe, uh, Doctor Pivot, maybe you could uh, distribute uh, the slide there in the back, and yeah. uh, the ladies and gentlemen. Now, wait a wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment. Just let me finish. It's like long life to um, to Tovarish Honecker <laughs> until as long as I'm not alive. Uh, so uh, let's deposit it there, and maybe you do this until noon, and then the ladies and gentlemen could come back and pick this up yeah. in the back. Let's do, it, let's do it that way, all right? Okay, then it's we already done. Deposit the slide and, and you just pick it up from, from the so back until like... No need until when could you do this, 10 or 11 or...? I, yes, I will stay, so... Okay, no problem. So, so please pick it up. No need to take picture of the slide. We will provide those to you. So, the result, and I don't want that some definitive results emerge from those subsets on the, this forest plot. You have to know that in December this year at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, we will show some results of the multivariate analysis on the subset analysis, but it's too early now and we are not robust to bring any conclusion. I just want to show you that here, all the confidence interval for all those subsets cross the boundary of non-inferiority. And the AZ ratio were distributed on both sides. So that means that probably we can look for some subset for who the six months exposure could be enough. So my official conclusion will be to say that results were inconclusive for non-inferiority between six months duration and 12 months duration. We have, and you can see, a tendency because we have a hazard ratio of 1.28, a tendency favoring 12 months treatment. But before to be sure of any conclusion, we should wait the results of the other study with a specific focus on the trastuzumab duration. The Persephon trial, which was very similar than FAR. The shorter study, which compare one year of trastuzumab versus nine weeks, based on the Finner design. The trastuzumab was concomitantly given 
given with the chemotherapy in this trial. And we have also the SOLD, which compare nine weeks with the concomitant administration of trastuzumab on the chemotherapy and one year following the completion of the chemotherapy. And we have also to wait the result of the multivariate analysis and the subset analysis of FAR to see if we have the same result in every type of patients. It is not the end of the last communication for FAR because we have a large gene typing study with an assessment of some genes that could predict resistance or efficacy of trastuzumab or to identify patients at risk. So here are the results. So the main results, and we, I will stay until 11 or uh, something like that. So if you have more questions, I will be available. Thank you.